Yeah, hi guys. So, seeing as I am now back from my fucking disastrous world tour of one country, I think it's time we take a quick recap of events, so we can all take the piss and laugh at my utterly sad existence. Ready? Well, let's go. Surprisingly, the world tour lasted a full five weeks. It all started when I took my Tesco carrier bag, full of my worldly possessions, and made my way to the airport, where I shouted to all of the travelers that I was famous, and then boarded the plane to Tenerife, where I made a dick of myself, shouting that everyone would be jealous of where I was staying. Surprisingly, the villa I was to stay in was actually quite nice, and for one brief moment, which we would learn to be the only decent moment for me on the tour, I found happiness laid on a sun lounger, basking in the setting sun. It didn't take long for me to begin lording the villa over everyone, as clearly, I was now better than everyone else alive, and my smug attitude was swiftly met with a fat dose of karma, when it was discovered that I had been sent to the villa as a joke, and I was asked to leave. It was at this time that Tuna Babes Cold never bothered me anyway, made her first appearance of the world tour, moaning on Instagram from her grotty bedroom, giving us the first of many rages. She was unhappy that I was filmed with a happy and functional family, dressed in mankinis to celebrate a birthday, with their bollocks and asses hanging out, because she decided this was pedophilic, because she really is a weird cunt. Now booted from my lodgings, and deciding to live abroad on the back of handouts from strangers, I embarked on a game of cat and mouse with the vile and disgusting trolls, whose attempts to have me kicked from every hotel were sometimes successful. 95% of my time was then spent endlessly repeating myself in an attempt to get enough money to eat chicken, but occasionally I was found screaming and spinning in circles on some rocks, sometimes wading in and out of insane waves, and I provided unbelievably shit travel content, where I generally pointed at things for just over a minute, telling people to look at them. Weeks and weeks of the exact same day on repeat were to follow, my tragically shit existence on full display, every day I was better than you, even though I was a sad and lonely old man searching for cornflakes, and every day Tuna Babes was yelling, growling, smashing things and insulting G Crew, providing a fascinating insight into the mind of a maniac. We began to see that my addictions to TikTok, and specifically, the TikTok battle, have now overtaken my entire being. My life, now consumed and destroyed in the pursuit of small cartoon images of gifts popping up on my screen, provide the only brief happiness and emotion I am able to feel. Never was this more on display than on the evening bad boy Jimmy Grimble was live from a location close to me, which made me shit my pants and run around in a panic, but never did I even consider stopping the battles, and I repeated myself as best as I could, even though all I wanted to do was run to my mummy and be cuddled. Eventually, I did run away, I ran from my problems to the other side of the fucking island, where I had access to running water and a shower, but failed to use it to clean myself, judging by the grease literally visible on me at all times. The insane mountains were still here, but I opted instead to show the insane gorillas and absolutely insane living conditions of some orcas instead, that is, when I wasn't sat in McDonald's on the brink of total financial ruin, with no place to stay, literally begging for money like a cunt. Utterly scared of my own inability to please a female with my tiny peepee, I ran away once again, this time to Lanzarote, where I became a karaoke enthusiast and spent a few nights attempting to have a sing-song, but unfortunately, due to being as thick as fuck I was unable to read the lyrics, and my confidence abandoned me mid-song every time and eventually I was called a pedophile by the locals, so I ran away to Fort Aventura where I had lost all understanding on what I even am anymore. I barely even span in circles, I just moaned and complained about my life, my life that is better than yours. And from here, my last stop of the world tour, so far successfully dodging the hate coming my way for wishing cancer on someone, I cried like a little bitch because I wanted to go home. Perhaps my next destination is said to be Bromley, sucking the shit tits of tuna babes, because that cunt seems to have finally stopped raging on Instagram, so clues led us to believe we are preparing for another round of attempting to be with each other, before another massive fallout, but this time will be different, because apparently, she isn't mental. But, before being able to leave, I had to beg like a cunt for even more money from strangers, because I'd spent all of mine on pedo vests and grilled chicken, and the idea of financial planning is lost on me, and here we saw our last, and possibly greatest piece of epic trolling yet. 
when bad boy Jimmy Grimble pretended to buy me a flight and done me over for a second time in as many weeks, leaving me stranded in an airport a million miles from old shit tits who isn't mental. I'm not mental! And I had to call daddy to save me. And that's my summary complete, much love, take care, you're all cunts, suck my dick, and I'll see you soon, my toasters.